Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our front runner slanted water tank. This is going to be a 13.2 gallon water container that you can fit into the back of your SUV vehicle or in our case, the Jeep. The tank is made of a food grade polyethylene, which is BPA free, which means if you want to use this to carry your potable drinking water, you can. But if you want to use this with just normal non-potable water, just mainly as a water reservoir, that's an option too. It does have plastic fittings. So the hose you see here is not included with the tank, but can be added on and used with this tank if you want to get the front runner hose kit. Since that fitting is fitted to the bottom of the tank, when you have this filled up, you will experience a little bit of pressure, which is great for when you need to fill up like your jugs, your other smaller water containers. If you have your camp kitchen set up towards the back of your vehicle, this is gonna be an awesome thing to add to your overlanding setup. But if you are going to be using this as a reservoir for other water fixtures, maybe you have a shower you built or you need to attach a faucet, that's when you need to start looking into water pumps just to add that extra draw and pressure. Right off the bat, in my opinion, this is something worth considering adding to your overlanding setup. I'm someone who has to bring around a lot of water jugs and those are pretty tricky to find space for, maneuver around, fill up, use, things like that. This is gonna be a very compact way to add a lot more water storage to your vehicle. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely worth checking out. But if you're curious about, will this even fit your vehicle and how do you use it? Well, let's continue watching where we go into measurements and features. This slanted design is awesome when pushed up against your seats. Now, of course, it'll fit different vehicles differently. This works very well up against the seats of a Jeep. But for measurements, for your width on the side profile, this is gonna be seven and a half inches long, but then it also tapers up to be five and a half inches long. Now for the height of the whole system, this is gonna be 16 inches measuring from the bottom to the top of the cap. If you just measure for the tank, that's gonna be 13 inches and 13 sixteenths of an inch. And finally, for your overall length, that is going to be 39 inches and 3 eighths of an inch. Those measurements will help you figure out how well it will fit in your other vehicles. In the case of our Kia Seltos, that width is perfect for our hatch, although the slant is slightly different. If I push this all the way in, you can see how it's visibly tilted. So in our case, we're just gonna drop it down a little bit so we have the back perpendicular still. With this box style of a water tank, this allows you to carry up all that water, but still it is supported by the weight of the water and then you can still lower your seats things like that if you need more access to your cargo now with the seats out of the way you do have to be mindful of how do you strap down or support that water tank since this does not include its own straps or brackets there are two spots along the water tank which are perfect for running a strap or a rope through now this does require that you have an anchor point for those straps, so that is something to be mindful of if you need to build one out for yourself. However, because of how it is tapered, the weight of the water should be enough to hold your tank in place without having to use extra straps, especially when this is full. Of course, the biggest thing whenever you have a water container is how do you fill it up? Ideally, you'll be able to just pull your car up to where there's water, maybe lower the seats, open up this cap, and then feed a hose through without having to remove it from your vehicle. Or if you do need to remove it from your vehicle, I put it on a cart. This uses a very easy screw off lid to give you access to that top spout. Before refilling, just double check that your spout is turned to the closed position. On its own, this weighs 11.2 pounds, but that is before you weighed it down with over 13 gallons of water. You probably can't see it as well as I can feel it, but you definitely have a lot of weight towards the bottom of this tank. 
creating that stability even without straps. Ideally, you'll just leave your hose on your tank pretty much at all times. And there's even a little cutout in the corner to allow your hose access in case it gets a little too tight around the sides of the tank. But you're still going to need access to your spigot. So ideally, you should be able to lower your seats to get access. What I have noticed with this is that when you fill it up with cold water, you may experience a little bit of condensation around the tank. So because of that, I do recommend practicing good moisture control, something that you would experience a lot with car camping and overlanding, and making sure that your material underneath the tank is something that is breathable, but also easily cleaned if needed. With our tank almost fully filled up, we're gonna show you how this works. So we currently have the hose fit to our fitting. We have it in the closed position. I'm gonna turn the lever over to the open position, and then you can see the flow of the water. Now notice how I have the hose lifted up. If I bring this down to below the height of the tank, the water flow starts bringing this back up to above tank level, the water flow stops. So this is definitely gravity fed. Well, definitely something useful if you have this for your camp kitchen setup. I see a lot of people have this set up in their hatch and then they have their sink or their other water containers below the hatch area, maybe sitting on the ground or on a short table. But other than that, I'm very impressed by how this increases my water storage capacity without taking up too much space inside of the vehicle. With its box shape, this makes it so easy to plan around it for storage. I can add my camp kitchen setup in here. Front Rider also has the cargo slides and cargo trays that can be used in conjunction with this tank if you're really looking to deck out your Jeep or deck out your vehicle. Now, something I really want you to take note of is make sure you have the proper hose. If you get the water tank kit that matches this, awesome, no need to worry about fittings and things like that. If you want to use your own hose, just make sure it has a half inch inner diameter and you are good to go. So hopefully this video helped you out with seeing if this will fit your vehicle, as well as help you understand how to use it so that you can decide if it is the best fit for you and your adventures. This was a look at the Front Runner slanted water tank here at eTrailer.com. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.